What's up everybody? It's your boy Nate. Today we are diving into Wan 2.1, which is a brand new AI video generator model that allows you to create awesome videos using consumer grade hardware. The crazy thing about Wan 2.1 is that it is an amazing model that challenges the likes of VO2, Runway ML, and cling and the best part is that it is completely open source and for free so today i'm going to show you how you can run this on your computer and we're going to take a look at some of the generations where it really excels and some of the struggles with it that way you guys can get a better understanding as to whether or not this is going to be useful to you anyways i'm super excited i know you are too all right let's go We just released two sets of one 2.1 workflows for Comfy UI. And the reason why there are two sets is because one uses the wrappers from Kijai, which is gonna be this first set here. It has image to video, text to video, and video to video. Second set uses the Comfy UI native nodes, which means that you don't have to download any additional custom nodes and you can get up and running as fast as possible. Another huge difference between these two sets is that Kijai's one 2.1 wrappers allows you to use something called the Sage Attention and T-Cache, which does require a little bit more of a setup. So if you guys don't have those already set up inside of your computer, I would highly recommend you just go ahead and use the native workflows, which we're gonna have links down in that description box. But first let's go ahead and take a look at some of the generations that were created using Juan 2.1. So here we're looking at the input image on the left and on the right hand side, it's animated at five seconds. Now you may notice that it says generated in one minute, 52 seconds. And this is because it's online using replicate, which Honestly, on your own computer, even using something like an RTX 4090, you're not gonna get a generation in one minute and 52 seconds. It's probably gonna be a little bit closer to five minutes or so for generations, but at least you're able to run it on your computer for completely free, whereas using another tool or another online service is gonna cost you a lot of money. For example, I checked the prices on Fali.io and it looks like it's actually gonna cost you about $1 per three generations. And most of the results that you're gonna be seeing are cherry picked. So it means that they're not always gonna come out perfectly every single time. And instead it may take you three or so generations just to get one that you actually like. Here is another really awesome generation with a really sick input image of what looks like a room, an apartment during a fire. And it animated this so beautifully that I'm honestly very impressed with how this one came out. Moving forward, so over here, we can take a look at what Juan 2.1 really excels at. So it's showing off complex motions like street dancing, a flying eagle, and all sorts of different sports and people doing various things. But another really cool aspect about this is that it has great physical law understanding. So you can see water moving. We can also see spray painting being applied. And all of this looks really awesome. And this is probably the first time that we're seeing an open source video model doing something that looks this great. Another really cool thing is that it's able to handle different styles from 3D animation, 2D animation, and more. And then here, just because we can, check this out. This is a cat diving into water. And I gotta say, this looks awesome. This is using Juan 2.1 14B. So diving into the Comfy UI workflows, we have a couple sets of Comfy UI workflows up on the Patreon page, which you guys can get today. But if you wanted to use a completely free one as well, you guys can go ahead and just Google search Kijai Comfy UI Wan Wrapper, and it's gonna take you over to this GitHub page. And then you can go ahead, download one of these. And this is what it's gonna look like when you load it up from there. Now, the reason why we have our own set of Comfy UI workflows is just because I typically don't like looking at all these different subway map looking workflows. But if you guys wanted to, you can also access these workflows. They're available online for free, super easy to get. And it, essentially it has some of the same components, but we went ahead and added a couple more things that I liked when making video generation. So that's why we have this other version of the workflow. Either way, both of those will serve your purposes when it comes to getting Juan 2.1 running in your computer. Comfy UI also released a native supported version, which you can get if you type in Comfy UI Wan 2.1 workflow. And it's a little bit harder to find, but if you go ahead and search this up, you can go ahead and see here on Reddit. And then going over to this page is where you're also gonna be able to find some of the workflows in a JSON format. So 
Let me go ahead and open that one up as well for you here, right? And this is what it looks like. Again, super easy to use and super stripped down. So those are your two options if you guys don't want to join the Patreon. But if you guys did want to go ahead to the Patreon, here is what our workflow looks like when it's set up. Now, just like all of our workflows, they read from left to right with the most important stuff on the left-hand corner here where it says step one, load models. And then you pretty much just go through each column until you're finished and you get a nice, easy to use setup. So this version of the workflow, we call the ultimate native one 2.1, because in this version of the workflow, you're able to load in the text to video model, the image to video model, and essentially have both of those different functions all in one workflow. But we've also broken it down into two separate workflows for those of you who want something a little bit more modular. So in this version, we just have the text to video and then in this one, we just have the image to video. Now, another cool thing that we added to this is something called the pick your add-ons, which once you guys have finished loading in your model, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and load in the WAN 2.1 image to video model here, the text encoder, the VAE and the clip vision. And at the very bottom is where you're gonna see the pick your add-on section. When it comes to loading models, you may be curious, where do you actually get the models? So that's why we have this section here at the very end of each of the workflows, which has the important notes and download links. If you wanted to go ahead and download the diffusion model, all you do is drag and drop this link into your browser and you're gonna see all of these different models here set up, which might look super daunting, but don't worry because we also have a pretty easy to follow guide when it comes to downloading these different models. So over here, you can see you actually only need one from each category, and it's just broken down into multiple subsections. So you have an image to video model, and you'll see here all these different variants. For the most part, you're not gonna wanna use the ones that are larger than the VRAM of your graphics card. So since I'm using an RTX 4090, I only have 24 gigabytes of VRAM. So I'm pretty much just gonna be sticking to the ones that are the quantized versions, which is gonna be the 16.4 gigabyte model and this one here as well. If you're using an even smaller VRAM graphics card, then you're gonna wanna stick with something a little bit smaller as well. So when you first load up the workflow, this is what it looks like. You're gonna go ahead and click on the actual models that you wanna use, which we have labeled out here on the left-hand side. Another cool thing that we've added in was video frame interpolation. So you might have seen a lot of different generations from people online that looked a little bit choppy because I think for the most part, people are working with 16 frames per second. But we have this really cool node here, which actually doubles the amount of frames after the fact. So it doesn't really add too much time to your generations. And it just goes ahead and interpolates that movement in between those two frames. But if you didn't want to use that at all and you wanted to stop motion video, you can go ahead and just click no here and that turns it off as well. Another thing that we've added was a video combine node at the end. So if you guys wanted to make a separate video that's like an MP4 file, you can go ahead and use that. And then another thing for the image to video model is that we have enable resize image, which allows you to take in your input image and without cropping it at all, it's just gonna go ahead and resize it to a proper format for WAN 2.1 to generate videos with. So here you can see an example, and this one is not a cherry picked result because I wanted to show you that not every generation that you create is gonna be looking amazing. So here we have in a Baroque style European palace, a cat wearing a business suit dances. The business suit is deep blue with a bright red tie and the cat does a twirl. So it definitely has those elements inside of its generated video, but it doesn't look as perfect as some of those other generations. The way that the prompting section here works, over here for the step two, you can see we have in our load image node. We have this image of this cat, but you can put in just about any image. And then here we have our positive prompt. And at the bottom here, we have our negative prompt. Now this is just a prompt that I've seen from the WAN 2.1 examples. It's in Chinese, but if you guys were to go ahead, you can type in just about anything negative that you don't wanna see. So I've even seen some great generations come out with just bad video quality as a negative prompt. And then over here, you don't really have to mess with too much of the settings, but we do have a mode select here, which is just gonna automatically change some of the settings in the background to make sure that you're getting a nice easy interface when it comes to changing the quality of your generation. So for number one, it's gonna be low quality, but a very fast generation. At number two, it's gonna be great quality, but a little bit of a medium speed. And then at number three, it's gonna be max quality, 
and very, very slow. So I would say this generation right here was at the medium quality, but if we were to crank this up to number three, instead, it's gonna take more time to generate the image and it's also gonna produce a much better result. And then if you guys wanted to mess with something a little bit more advanced, you can manually set the steps here. If you were to change this to number four, and then go ahead and change whatever value you wanted here. If it's set to 50, you can make it 100, but again, that's probably gonna take way too long. And I'd say for the most part, you could really just keep it at these preset values here. If you guys were curious how this logic works in the back end, whenever you change the number here, it's actually changing the value of steps. So for the low amount, it's setting it to 20 steps. Here at the great value for number two, it's changing it to 35 steps. And then for the maximum quality value, we've changed it to 50 steps. And these are just preset amounts of steps that I've tested out that I think generated some pretty great results. And that's why we have them preset here in the front end of the workflow. So there is one big difference between the native one and the Kijai wrappers is that on the native one workflows, you don't have to download any custom nodes except when it comes to the video frame interpolation stuff. Other than that, actually loading in the diffusion model using the case sampler, all of these are using basic Comfy UI nodes. So you shouldn't really have to do too much. And as long as you're using the most updated Comfy UI, it should run pretty well in your computer. Here we have an example of the text to video one, which has the cat in the blue business suit dancing and doing a twirl. This one does not have an image input, so it's just doing it based off of the text. And then if you guys were using the ultimate version of the workflow, which has both options here, if you wanted to change your mode, you can do so here just by changing it from one to two. And that's gonna be changing all of this stuff in the back end to make sure that you're getting the right positive and negative prompts and a whole bunch of other cool stuff here. Okay, so that pretty much wraps it up for the native Comfy UI workflow. Let me go ahead and show you really quickly what the Kijai wrapped versions and you're gonna see that all of a sudden, all of these nodes are much more complicated and advanced. So if you're someone who is just starting out, again, I would not recommend you guys to dive into this, but if you have messed with other video generators in the past, like Honeywon, this might be something that you're a little bit more comfortable working with. So here we can set the different attention modes. I have it set to Sage Attention because that increases the generation speeds by about double, which is freaking insane. And then other than that, we also have T-Cache, now, if you guys don't have Sage Attention installed on your computer, I have found that some people do struggle with getting T-Cache to work. So if you are seeing any issues with that, you can just go ahead and turn it off. But if you are able to get it to work, that is also gonna add probably about another 10 to 20% speed increase when it comes to generating videos. Another cool thing that we have is Enhanced Video, which is a node from the Honeywon wrappers for generating videos. And it just adds a little bit more adherence to the video in terms of having sharper lines and a little bit more structured format. It doesn't really impact the generation speeds too much. So if you guys wanted to play around with it, I'd recommend you guys go ahead and check that out. And here you can see a version of the generation. One thing to note when using this video combined node is that sometimes your generations are gonna look a little bit lower resolution, but if you were to go ahead and actually look at the file, they are coming out much higher resolution than those previews. So. It's really just dependent on how intensive it is on your computer when you're messing around with this. Another really cool thing about the Kijai versions is that we do have a video to video mode, which is not available in the native Comfy UI wrappers. So the cool thing with the video to video mode is that we're able to load in a video here and using the same sort of shot, we're able then to prompt in an elephant runs in the desert. And you can see that it's kind of adhering to a very similar camera position and subject position for this next generation. And again, this one looks super low resolution, right? It almost looks very crappy. So if you guys are seeing that, just make sure to go ahead and open up the preview and bam, you can see it looks much, much better. You can see like all the wrinkles on this elephant and yeah, it's just incredibly more detailed from the actual filed version versus what you're seeing in that preview. And again, just like the native workflows, we do have all of the different model links and where you're supposed to place them right here on the right hand side. So if you were to go ahead, drag and drop this into your browser, you're gonna see all of those models. And if you were curious where to place them, it's right here where you would place the diffusion models in your models diffusion folder, your clip vision, 
your text encoders, and your VAE. Now, if you guys wanted to follow along with the text version of this guide as well, we do have this broken down on our Patreon page, which includes a little bit more details as to how to set this up and how to get this running in your computer. Anyways, all the links are gonna be down in that description box. I hope you guys enjoy playing around with WAN 2.1 and creating all sorts of super cool, crazy stuff. And if you make something super awesome and want us to check it out, make sure to go ahead and send it to us on Discord. We always read the Discord channel and I'm always blown away by all the stuff that the people in the community are coming up with. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace.